All right, here we go. This is trip number two. There you go. I lost my glasses now. Uh, you don't need those to pull. <sighs> Pedo Bear is really happy about your success. That is a hard fucking work. Is it? Where does it hurt? That's what I'm curious about. It doesn't really hurt anything. It just drains you of energy. Well, that's perfect. That's exactly what we're going for. <laughs> I mean, whoo. Like, you're using all your muscle groups. Like, I'm using some of my back, some of my legs, some of my arms. But, yeah. <laughs> He's getting tangled in the ropes. There you go. That's three trips now. That's three trips. We're not doing too bad here. How do you feel? They get harder each time. That's the idea. <laughs> now, now, you were talking like you only had two in your total. This yeah. is the third one. How many more do you have in you? Maybe one. Let's do two. I'll, I'll, no, it's starting to rub my back raw. All right, fair enough. We'll do one more, and then we'll switch to a uh, another rope-pulling exercise. All right. Oh. Okay, so the floor was hurting a little bit, so we've added some baby powder. And I don't think that's going to make the work too much uh, hard, uh, easier, I guess I should say. But I think it is going to be a little bit easier on your back. So let's keep it going. Oh my god, this makes it hard. That's impossible. It's slipping my feet. Oh, that is prob that's probable, actually. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Look at him go. There you go. You look almost exhausted. This is good. How do you feel? I feel like I see a giant chipmunk. I, I, that's just Jeremy, dude. All right, so you got another one in you, or do we have to go to the lightweight? Let's go to the lightweight. All right. Let me... So this is another little exercise I've come up with. I, I like the idea of rowing exercises, though obviously a rowing machine's not, not going to work here. Plus, they're crazy expensive. But pulling the rope seemed to do something similar. So we have a 200 pound weight on this end. And uh, on that end, we have 440 pounds of Wings of Redemption. So he's gonna tow our weight and we're gonna do these for reps. So get started. Reset. And here we go again. That's two. Reset. These really hurt your hands. That's what the gloves are for. Looks like you're working now. This is good. I see sweat. Reset. Yeah, that's good. I got one more in me. I know you do. All right. We're going to take you on board the squirrel camp. So those are pretty good, right? I was working. All right, let's take a little break and move on to something else. Yeah. You have broken a sweat, my friend. I've broken one, yeah. Broken my eyes. So as I'm recording this, we are about three and a half days into this whole thing. 
And I, uh, I say that because I want to talk about what you're seeing now. So the first two videos comprising of the one you're watching right now and the previous episode, which you should definitely check out if you haven't seen it yet. I've noticed, um, well, I haven't noticed any comments for this video because I haven't made it yet. But I noticed some comments on the first video, I guess I should, I guess I should say. And a lot of people were concerned with, you know, some of the workouts that we were doing. And I think what I what I want to uh, make sure everyone knows is the first couple of days, uh, we had a difficult time um, determining what exercises he could do. Really, the first two days were spent, we, we did get a lot of exercise in, and it shows we've lost uh, nine pounds now. But I think in the first two days, we were finding breaking points and uh, and determining what was going to hurt him and what was not going to hurt him and, and all of that good stuff. So now on the third day, I feel like we have a regimen and a you know, a whole handful of workouts and, uh, and activities that he can do that will burn calories, build muscle, burn fat, all that good stuff. And meanwhile, you know, they won't hurt him because the last thing we want is, you know, to sprain an ankle or aggravate some past injury, whether it's his back or his knee or whatever it is. We want him to, to be sore. That's a big part of this, but we don't want him breaking down. And I'm doing my best to do that. We're also going to start integrating food into the episodes more. We haven't done that thus far, but once again, that's a that's a product of us trying to, you know, get these videos made as quickly as possible while maintaining some semblance of a normal life uh, and all the rest. So, you know, every time he needs a meal, I can't be bothered to get a camera together and make it a whole staging thing. But I am going to do that more in the third episode. We're going to cook. I'm going to show you a couple of the meals that I've been cooking him. And I think you'll see that while he's, his calories are low um, by anyone's standards, some people would even say it's probably not safe, but he's getting uh, about five meals a day. They're all very nutritious. They're high in fiber, and he's drinking a shitload of water. And that's pretty much what I said was going to happen, you know, three weeks ago when we were talking about this thing. So I will say this so far. Really impressed with the amount of motivation he has. I had to go out today, and I was gone for a few hours, and I was told that while he was gone, you know, without any anyone telling him to do it, you know, he went downstairs, hopped on the elliptical for six or eight minutes or something like that. And while that may not sound like much to you, six minutes for Jordy is, it's an ordeal. You know, he, he starts getting injuries that nag him. He, he runs out of steam, and uh, he almost collapsed at one point. So he's really trying. All right, so you almost went down on us there. Yeah. Our cameraman paused a through a little bit of that, so we didn't get the whole stumble, I don't think. But uh, how do you feel? I feel good. I feel like yesterday I could barely do a minute. I got three done today. Yeah, you were on there for a while. You were, uh, you were pumping, and uh, I think you've, got, you've lost a little weight. We're going to weigh you in a little while and see where you are at the end of the video, but that was pretty good. That's definitely progress. And if you're not a little light, you know, if your legs aren't like noodles when you get done, then something's wrong, if you ask me. Because they should be like noodles. They're not used to this. Yeah. And like, I think I said before, the elliptical is like walking through the snow. Yeah. That's, well, it takes the impact out, though. It does take the impact out, but it's still... Yeah. Uh, my main thing is I don't want you getting blisters. I don't want you getting crippled. All right, so we're going to try this. It's hard to stand on the scale. Like, if you, if you adjust your weight... Four hundred and thirty-four. So you've lost another two point eight pounds, right? Yes. How do you feel about that? Are you encouraged by that kind of success? That's pretty good, if you ask me. I, that's in one day. That's like three pounds. Yeah, it's three point eight pounds in one day, I believe. I mean, you said. that means I'm burning something like seven thousand calories a day. Yeah. And like, that's uh, you're burning a lot of calories. I don't know how many calories you're burning. Um, I don't know how many calories your body burns on its own. That's one of the things that we've been having. You know, we've been trying to figure out things like your breaking points, things like your endurance uh, maxes, and things like your caloric intake. And I think we're getting a handle on it, and you're losing weight. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of weight. Like, um, it's 10 pounds so far. Uh, or, excuse me. It's 10 pounds so far, right? Not yet. No? That's two. That's three more, so it's nine pounds. Okay, nine pounds total in two days, of two full days of, of doing stuff. So that's good. What's up guys, it's your boy Wings Redemption. And uh, 
Yeah, it's the end of day uh, day two, and we found out that I've lost six pounds, and um, I've done a little bit more than that as I'm doing this video here. Um, I started doing the first walk, and uh, Kyle has this huge, massive amount of land, and it's really hilly. Uh, Georgia in itself is really hilly, it's got a lot of red clay in it, and um, it's just hard dirt, and I'm unused to that. So when I first started out, yeah, walking's easy. Well, walking turns out it's not easy when you're doing inclines. So I did, I want to say 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of a mile. Um, the phone said 0.6, but we didn't measure the first part because I actually ended up walking up and coming back and having my pants end up breaking on me on the walk, but you'll see that later. Um, but I was really unhappy with my endurance. I've been, and um, I was really in, I didn't really get to see the first videos until I actually uploaded them. So I kind of seen the first video when you guys seen the first video since Kyle did the editing. And uh, we've had a couple of malfunctions. Like I had a laugh mic on in the first couple days and it didn't really work the way we wanted it to work. So we need, we were gonna work on our audio levels. We're gonna try to wrap up the fun um really sore i am very very sore and um th that's almost universal constant but like the food is wonderful um and like i'm not getting hungry i've started to take more protein we're doing uh i think i think they have vanilla vanilla french cream protein shakes that i'm drinking and um they're helping with the rebuilding the muscles and stuff and getting the lactic acid out of my muscles. And uh, it's very helpful. Lots of chicken too. <laughs> lots and lots of chicken, lots of salad. Um, but I found like there's healthy alternatives to everything. Like I found a cereal that's like 80 calories a bowl, 120 with milk. And like it's delicious. It tastes almost like Cocoa Puffs. I, I guess it's expensive. Um, but I didn't really keep tra track on what everything cost. I think the first round of groceries cost somewhere around 174 bucks or something like that. So I didn't really keep track of it because I didn't pick it up. Um, generally Kyle and Kitty pick everything out on the uh, first go around. And uh, I'm trying to pick and choose what I like. One of the things that we've been struggling with with the first couple of videos is finding workouts that I can do without hurting myself because at the end of the month I have to go back to Myrtle Beach and um, I have to be able to go back to Myrtle Beach because so I can't be spraining any legs but at the same time I want to push myself as hard as I humanly can go I want to give 100% I want to push that muscle to what I can push it to without destroying it because at this point um, it's more the reps seem to be the wrong way to take things. It seems to be to do something until I can't do it anymore, take a break, and then do it again. And that seems to be the best way to do it instead of going for a goal because um, at this point I can't reach the goal. So my main goal is to build endurance more than anything else. And like I've been unhappy with the, my ability, my endurance thus far into the campaign. Um, Dude, you guys' support has been astronomical, and like, it's it's beyond belief how much support I've been getting through these videos, um, and like, it, it 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 motivates me. Like when I'm when I'm on there, um, in in this video right here, you're seeing me make almost three minutes on the elliptical. The entire time I was on the elliptical, I thought about all the people sitting there rooting for me, and how I can't fail. And like failing at this point would be letting everybody down, including myself. Um, and I don't want to fail. And like I think this year might be the year where I can keep that promise to myself where I don't want to be overweight on my birthday. I failed last year, but this year might be it. Being overweight might be a stage in my life and not my entire life it's kind of late here it's 12 44 so i'm trying to be quite kind of quiet um if you guys want to support support this 
we do have an Indiegogo set up and running. You can find it in the description of every one of these videos on the FPS Bootcamp. Um, you get some stuff for supporting. This isn't like it's a straight donation, you get nothing. Um, well, the, the first donation, like if you donate the minimum, you pretty much get nothing, <laughs> which is funny. It's good karma. But after that, if you go step up to like the 15, you get like an NVIDIA shout out. Um, like you, like if you donate 50, you get NVIDIA shout out. You get a signed poster with me with cows. It's going to be hand signed. I'm going to hand sign every poster individually. And, um, and the, like you step up one more of that, I think it's like 75 or something. You get a t-shirt, which we haven't just came on the design on, but you get a t-shirt, a poster, the shout out. And there's something else in there too. Um, oh, there's a postcard. There's going to be a before and after picture postcard for, for that. But there's a whole list of things. If you Even if you don't want to donate and you just want to find out what all the options are, you can check the link out below. And if you can't donate monetarily and you, you feel like you can always leave a like on the video and share them. Um, my goal is in the next 15 days is to lose 30 pounds. So that would put me at... Um, like 411 pounds and if I can do that I feel well my goal is small my goal is every day my, my long term goal right now is 30 pounds for the first 15 days which is like 2 weeks And but my everyday goal is to make sure I do well and like I feel very good about myself that I haven't even wanted to cheat there was like a barbecue pizza on the stove today. Didn't want it. There's like a whole thing of gummy bears on the table. Don't want them. And I'm perfectly fine with it. And uh, like there's times where I found that like I wanted to sit here and I wanted to go like downstairs and work on the elliptical to get that three minutes to four minutes. And uh, like I'm excited to go to sleep now so I can go out there and try that walk again and to see if I can make it through that point that, you know, that little over half a mile, hilly, half a mile that's very hilly and do it, you know, this time in a brisk pace and not be almost breaking down at the end of it. I, I want to build that endurance up. You know, like, I can already see the effects. I think I've lost half an inch on my waist. And, yeah. Thank you guys for your continued support. Um, and, uh, Please keep uh, enjoying the videos and let me know in the comment section. And uh, see you guys later. <laughs>